Hello everyone, and welcome back to Resident Evil 2. Played by me, Agent JR. So there was nothing eventful on the trek back, as expected. Came out of it with some handgun ammo, which, uh, a little bit was spent on that zombie. But whatever, handgun ammo is in abundance. And so is shotgun <coughs> ammo, and magnum ammo. Really, I'm wondering if I could just throw the handgun in the item chest at this point, carry on with the shotgun and magnum, and, you know, still have enough ammo to complete the game. Oh, we may never know. Alright, so, yes, we were in the sewers, and there are spiders. Let me see what I can do about that. Ay, ay, ay. Why? Why am I so foolish? This was such a wasteful endeavor. And let myself be poisoned, just so I may learn a lesson from this. Alright. Stuff the wolf metal in here while we're passing through. Okay. Yes, I'm ignoring those herbs because I have the full heal. I'm just gonna wait for my health to go down a little bit and then use that. I mean, it's got a blue herb in there anyway, right? Alright, Leon. Now crank it again. Not like that. Like that. Notice that he... He only has to turn the handle once. You can see from that camera angle that he does not continue to turn it. Alright. Considering I'm getting herbs here, I'm not even gonna wait. Just gonna clear everything up. So I was in red caution before the healing took effect. No, I don't want that. Uh, oh, I guess you're not giving me any delicious ammo treats in here this time. No, you are. I'm just blind to them. Okay, everything is hunky-dory. And... Ooh, we might not have to fight an alligator this time. Check this out. The canister is gone already. And without the canister, fighting that alligator would be... Can you even kill it without that? I'm not sure. Don't think I've ever tried. Besides, Leon's got bigger problems than a giant alligator. He has a bullet wound. Ada! Ada, I am so worried about you that I'm going to take time to check all this garbage for useful items before I come and see you. I hope you don't mind. Leon. <sighs> this bullet wound isn't making things any easier. Quiet, Leon. I'll patch you up. That's two I owe you. Don't mention it. I just found out. John's dead. What? Good news Never for mind. Leon. Let's just get out of here. The sooner the better. There's some deep meaning to this latter scene, which I'm not going to share. Okay, so Leon is all patched up. Looks like Ada does care a little bit. At least somewhat. And that's good. Leon. Uh, yeah, I'm Leon. Leon. Certainly cares for her. Sewer manager diary hasn't changed. The amount of trash hasn't changed. 
Well, okay, there's one less sherry in there now. And this whole dealie hasn't changed. Turn the valve, go through, and suddenly you're back in La La Land with spiders. All of my favorite places have spiders. But I think the cockroaches will be gone. Yup, yup, nothing to worry about in here. What was that I heard? Some strange noise. Oh, that was a zombie? He didn't seem to mind that I kind of ran in front of him and he didn't bite me. Hey, good Ada! We are a combat team that can be beaten by none. Except maybe Mr. X. At least until I bring my magnum along. Alright. Once again, I'm gonna be completely foolish and idiotic. Once this water's drained, I'm gonna go back and see what little items I can scrounge up. As long as Ada can avoid getting poisoned. Some sort of edge tool? Like a mutated blade arm? Well, that may not be what you are thinking of, but that's certainly the case. So with Ada on my team, zombies become no problem. Huh, nothing yet. Could it be that I was mistaken once again? Nay, I say! Huh. Oh, what's that say? Umbrella Ink logo is printed on the mask. Whatever could that mean? Probably that he was hired by Umbrella. Okay, so, that was pretty fruitless. But enjoyable nonetheless. I'm always up for shooting some zombies. Watch out, Ada. They've got spit. Back to the tram. That clunk it is not meaningless to us, like it was for Claire. You'll see. We'll all see. Nothing on this shelf yet. Or ever. Oh, the tram's already gone. We have to recall it. Leon seems to have no trouble doing this despite being completely unfamiliar with the controls. And I approve. So now that we've turned the tram, we just gotta go in and ride it across. Pretty simple, right? This inside view of the tram makes me think it's not going to be that simple. See what I mean? There's really no reason to bust out heavy weaponry for this fight, because all it is is shooting the arm as it comes down. It may also be a good time to use burst. Just wait for the dust to appear, and do your thing. So while this is certainly dangerous, it's not excessively difficult. Oh, we even managed to get one of his claws. Good work. Team Awesome. Now, where has he gone to? Once again, I'm worried.
And once again, we're gonna get the weapon locker key. This time I have a lighter, so I'll be able to show off the flare gun, too. Nothing really exciting, though Leon and Ada do avert their eyes, which is a nice little detail. And we're actually coming up on the second pair of weapon parts. These ones being for the shotgun. <laughs> you missed, and it was funny. <laughs> I'm not gonna stop laughing at that. Zombie failure. Stay down. Don't need none of your crap. Wow, there we go. Shotgun parts. We're not going to use those just yet because of a uh, viewer comment. Sorry, I don't remember your name. Uh, someone pointed out that if you use the weapon parts, they will refill an empty magazine. Or not empty necessarily, but anything below max. I think we even get a larger magazine with this upgrade. It's going to be worthwhile to spend a few shots. See our numbers grow. Wow, look at all those zombies. Boom! Uh-oh, I got him pissed off. Whatever will I do? Okay. Uh, one more. And that's the end of the normal shotgun. Say goodbye to it. Because now we have the custom shotgun. Full stock, full barrel, full magazine, semi-automatic, no more pumping, and uh, apparently more concentrated blasts, whatever that means. Whoa! Basically what it means is it's become a total killing machine. It's absolutely beautiful in sound and in function. It's also model and just everything about it is fantastic. Yeah, I love the custom shotgun. Alright. And I think this is also going to be the point where I stuff my handgun into the box and don't pull it out except in emergencies. We finally arrived. There must be something hidden here. What makes you say that? I mean, there's definitely stuff here. Shotgun shells, magnum bullets, but they're not really hidden. All right, we'll give Ada a moment. And we'll take a moment to drop our stuff off. Most notably, the handy gun. Goodbye, my friend. You've served me well, but your purpose is not. Oh no. No. Darn it. Rats. Curses. And we'll pick up that first aid spray. And then, uh, we're gonna have to say goodbye for now. Because we've kind of reached this whole time limit thing. So, next time on Let's Play Resident Evil 2, we're gonna figure out what's hidden in here and hopefully take the tram down to the labs. See you then.